last two years, before any journals. Thailand, you will be getting negative score when you are applying for promotion if publication is not in the Scopus. You will see the people how they are now becoming aware. Research is what I'm doing when I don't know what I'm doing. Actually, this is the main thing that uh, power of unknown because you don't know something and would like to know something. So someone said, thinking about you thinking. When I always say that research is a mindset. Mindset. Who actually popularized this word, thinking about you thinking? Anyone? Anyone? Do you know who said that? A great philosopher, Satre. Thinking about you thinking. When you talk about epistemological aspect of the world or metaphysical aspect of the world, we, you know that your grand, grandfather maybe used to say, think twice, think many times to jump, isn't it, before you jump. So thinking beyond your thinking means think about your thinking. So it means when you say think about your thinking, two things, what, why. Then further, how. And a lot of us, we, we are eating, we don't know what we are eating and why we are eating. A lot of us, we talk, we don't know why we talk. And a lot of us, we say something, but we don't know why we say something. It's very interesting, isn't it? A lot of us, we are publishing, but we don't know why we are publishing. Some people, maybe for the status quo, but maybe he doesn't know. Even some people, even sometimes don't know what is the meaning of their name, like me. I never found what is the meaning of my name. It's very interesting. No one can answer this question, isn't it? And there is a great power to identify what is the meaning of my name. So innate curiosity, we discuss about it. Ability to discern. So discern means, discern means, now the word discern that we are belong to many, many years to mainly the religious institutions. So church, mosque, temple, they used to use this word precisely how we can discern the religious ideology, ethics, values, and beliefs to many individuals so that people can actually live together in a harmonious manner. But discern now is the most important thing in higher education sector, isn't it? Because what you have is not enough. I always say that you have a fantastic knowledge and idea and vision. Why not let this know other people, pass to the other people? And that is most important. Again, it reminds me that one of the great philosopher, you must know that, that uh, Rasul Gamzatov, he came actually to Central Asia, and he asked three of his students, what you would like to be? One student surely and proudly said, I would like to be a celebrity, big, big celebrity. Why? I would like to be known to everyone, and I would like to have many money, more money, financially viable. Very good. So two things, money and known to everyone, isn't it? Second person, what you would like to be? I would like to be a good businessman, big businessman, you see? Why? I would like to be known to everyone, and I must have many money, eh? too much money. Third person, what you would like to be? I would like to be a teacher. Why? I would like to be known to two people. Only two? And they would like to be known to everyone, and you want only two? He said, yes. And teacher asked, who are the two audience? One is my students. Proudly, he said, my students. And second? My God. So it's very interesting, isn't it? You always feel satisfaction when you see your students are feeling satisfied. When you see they are actually getting your concept, you feel good, isn't it? I mean, instant satisfaction. So degree of skepticism, you don't accept. Now you think about it. You walk up in the morning, and I'm sure that you all have the habits to read newspaper, isn't it? And you suddenly found that nine people died, and you start to believe in, isn't it? These are normal things. And you see there is a fighting happening, there is a flood happening, you start to believe. But it can be purely propaganda. So it means each and everyone, we have certain types of bias, certain degree of bias. Bias to the media, bias to the government, bias to you, bias to the children, bias to everyone. A child may be crying, because he really feel pain. You may think he's just acting to avoid not to eat, to avoid not to go to his school, isn't it? But really? So that's bias is getting. So we'd like to see that we must have skepticism. But this skepticism should come with great care. Then you'll understand that you are not doing something wrong. But I am always saying that doing wrong also a great power because we are learning from mistake, isn't it? And Peter Sanjay's great philosophy, you see, 
the fifth discipline, that is learning by mistake, second learning loop. Look at those things that sometimes, and I was so wondering, when my grandparents used to say, why not mix up Dal and Chal and then separate them again? I didn't understand what they used to say. So now I understand, problems are really good, isn't it? I always say that if you don't have problem, like if you are a prince of a king, this is the greatest problem you have because your life is boring. So you have to create some problems. Because problem means opportunity. Opportunity to do what? To create something new. Opportunity to bring something new. Again, I would like to go back to Peter uh, Schumpeter who said the creative destruction. Anyone management students or academics, you know that. That creativity comes through destruction. And I see in Dhaka, thousands of opportunities. You are not grabbing because your mindset into only few things. Your mindset into become a bank manager, become a pilot, become a doctor, engineer. But there are so many opportunities. Those opportunities you don't see in European countries because opportunities are less, but they're inventing, inventing. It's not the question what you like. I would like to sell it. My question is they don't know what they like. You invent it and they like it. No one actually realized that Apple tell you, you see, mobile phone. And he said that I don't bother about the customers because they don't know what they want. When he invented Apple mobile, everybody grabbing the Apple, isn't it? It's become a doctrine in the uh, technological it's innovation. So we have to be like that. Desire of break new. So I'm going to go move. So look at this. Endurance networking results. The three most important. Just do it. What is endurance? Pain. I would like to see the pain. It's a, it's a struggle life. The success of life is not easy. And I always say, what is easy, don't accept. What is complicated, accept it. Did I say that simplicity is the best? Because our problem is that I always feel that it's most easy or much easier to be complicated. Because we all are complicated, but it's much difficult to be easy. So look at those, some of the points. I'll just move on, uh, next slide. Now, this is now used by the whole Europe. Canada has the same. I have taken from the research council. So there's a four expectation as a researcher. So when you do your research, you must apply these four elements in your research. One is the knowledge and intellectual ability. We would like to see the publication you have. The research you have, it is with the new knowledge. It is not just carrying out certain literature review and bringing something, because most of us doing nowadays quantitative research. I found sometimes it's much easier than statistical information. So you move on. But actual research, what are the quantitative, qualitative, or mixed? You must make sure, you must ensure there are some new things. And personal effectiveness, that is, we said that your communications, your disseminations of this, that your style of organization of the paper is most important. Research governance and organization, most, one of the most salient problems we are facing nowadays, do you know what? Do you know what? What are the most important problem we are facing with the academics nowadays? Lack of understanding about ethics. Lack of understanding about ethics. Now, I give you a certain example that you submitted a paper with three authors. Now, we do not encourage to have the publication with more than three authors unless the paper is technically sound, okay? So technical paper, we accept more authors. Now you submitted paper with three authors, paper being reviewed and being accepted, and you are now resubmitting with the modification, and suddenly I found there are five authors. This is the first ethical concern. Now because we always say the principal author and the secondary author, isn't it? So now the many institutions, they have uh, actually uh, introduced the authorship declaration form, and we have also introduced nowadays. Because the three areas that all authors must contribute equally. One is that synthesizing the review, one is the statistical analysis, because many times we have seen that academics don't understand statistics, so that they give the, the work to the statistician who do the statistics, and sometimes they don't acknowledge the statistician contribution, and they take the full, you see that uh, credit. So this authorship problem is the first ethical problem. Second problem is what? Plagiarism, isn't it? 
you don't ch check. I don't know what plagiarism software you are using. All universities in Dhaka must use Turnitin because most of the publications they are using iThematic, which is iThematic is mainly the scholarly publications. So before you submit something, go through. First, you can go through the free software you have, many free softwares, but free softwares will not detect so many things. But before you submit, check the plagiarism. Because there's a certain degree of, uh, you see, plagiarism elements 